Michigan's rock station, Q106. Hey, I'm Q106's Terry Stevens. Capital City Comic Con is coming back to the Lansing Center in downtown Lansing, June 30th through July 2nd. Once again, it has a star-studded lineup of geek culture celebrities. We're going to be talking to them in the weeks leading up to the big show. Our guest this time around, you've seen him on Power Rangers Space and Power Rangers Turbo, Roger Velasco. Q106, what's your name? Where are you from? Hi there, Roger. Green Turbo Ranger, Black Space Ranger. Right on, Roger Velasco, Terry Stevens from Q106. Dude, we are looking forward to hanging with you and Tracy Cruz. Yeah, you guys are both going to be at Capital City Comic Con coming to the Lansing Center in downtown Lansing, June 30th through July 2nd. Roger, have you visited the fair metropolis of Lansing, Michigan before? You know what? I haven't. I have been to uh, Michigan, to the D.C. area, not Lansing, so I can't wait to meet everyone and, and visit the town and taste the food and just, you know, get to know everyone down there. I'm excited. All right. So is there a particular dish that you judge every place you visit on? Like, is there a, like if this place can't make a good thing, I'm never coming back. What? Well, you know, I know that I know that uh, pizza is huge out on the East Coast and then, you know, uh, maybe some Philly cheese uh, steak sandwiches. So maybe some of that stuff. I want some bomb pizza. I want some East Coast pizza, man. So just guide me, guys. Please let All me right, know where we're, I can we're, get we're more. Midwest, we're more Midwest than East Coast. I, I will. I, I have to give a shout out to the Lansing to Lansing's uh, signature cuisine, the Olive Burger. What is it? So it's it's oh. a yeah, dude, if, bro. If you love olives, it's a burger, and it's got all this really good ass olive spread on it, and some cheese and stuff. But I will also shout out the Berea Pizza. The Berea Pizza is pretty amazing, dude. <laughs> That's well, you know, I'm going to be there a few days, and I love a good burger and the pizza. So I'm going to visit both of these, both of these places for sure. There you Absolutely. go. After we do that, we're going to have to hit the Planet Fitness to work all that off, though. Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no worries. Uh, I'm about to work out right now, so we'll get it. We'll get it started now. There you go. There you go. Well, you, well, you got to work out. You got to be in good shape to save the galaxy as the green and or black ranger. So, uh, Roger, let, let's get back to let's get to the beginning of this thing. So, when your representative, when 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 you were approached with the opportunity to be part of the uh, Power Rangers pantheon, what was your initial reaction to that? Well, first I knew it was a phenomenon. At that time, it was just, you know, they were getting mobbed everywhere they went. It was insane. Everyone knew about it. So I thought, whoa, I'm going to audition for that. That's pretty wild. Uh, I, and I said, okay, great. Let's, let's do it. I, after, this, after the thought kind of settled, I said, okay, you know, let's just be professional. Let's go knock this thing out just like any other audition. But, yeah, at the beginning, I had to sit back and say, whoa, this is, this is a big one. <laughs> so I was delighted. I was excited. Well, and it certainly carry a, carried you a long ways uh, since then. Now, you have two younger siblings, uh, one of which is 10 years younger than you, and one of, and he has the same name as the character you played. He was a Carlos. How did he feel about that? Yes. Shout out to my brother, Carlos Velasco. He's out in Atlanta, Georgia. He's a film producer, and he's actually worked with another ranger in the past in a film. So it was great. I said, what, I'm going to play Carlos? This is insane. And for my brother, I mean, he was just flattered. He came on to set, and... He got he got you know empowered and he says this is what I want to do so now he's in the film industry so I mean it was just great it was just great to be able to play uh, you know Carlos and then have a brother named Carlos and, and what did uh, Mary Saul think of that of, of her big brother doing the Power Rangers thing? Uh, Mary Saul is just a sweet girl. She just grew up around a bunch of us cousins, boys, and stuff. And you know she's she's always rooting for me and, and she, she's an amazing gal. We love her. So she was excited as well, of course. Absolutely. Love my sister, Marisol Velasco. Shout out to her in California. You know, that is super cool. I, you know, I talk to actors and who, especially actors who work on uh, shows that are tend to be geared towards a younger audience. And you always think about the impact you're going to have on a kid who's watching. And especially, look, as a person of color, you, you think about the impact you're going to have on uh, young kids who are also people of color. And the fact that you got to have that impact on your own little brother, dude, that's got to be a huge thing for you. Yeah, you know, it was a blessing, and I, I knew we were walking into, once we got the gig and all that, because, by the way, they saw over 50,000 people. They went to all the big cities, Miami, New York, Chicago, you know, of course, L.A., Texas. They went everywhere searching for the Rangers. So when we got the gig, I mean, I knew it was a massive call. I, I was so excited, first of all, excited. Then, I, then the second thought was like, whoa, we got some huge shoes to fill, huge responsibility. And third... 
we got to lead by example because it's true what you just said. We got kids looking at us, watching our every mood, and not only that, our sisters and my sis, my siblings, of course. So not only do we have kids out there watching our every move, but then at home, you know, our brother and my little siblings, you know, my siblings. So I always have to like think about that. So it, it was a uh, very empowering at the age of eighteen, nineteen. When you go to these conventions, you go to these cons, and you meet people who you know, grew up watching you, man. Uh, what's some of the what, what's uh, some of the feedback you've received that that's really hit you? You know, oh, man, I've heard it all. It's been it's just so incredible. It, it makes my skin crawl. Honestly, I hear things like because of you. I mean, these are just blessings. I look at them as tremendous blessings. Uh, it's full of abundance. Love just coming my way. I'm so grateful for it. For these amazing people. I call them friends. I don't call them fans. And some other stuff they say because of you, you know, I went to the military, you know, because of you now, I'm, you know, a first degree black belt in karate or five degree black belt or because of you, you know, I decided to be a teacher or you know what? For real, I've heard even because of you, you know, I, I you know, I, I prevented you prevented me from taking my life. I mean, stuff like that. And it's just very humbling and empowering. And it's just it's just amazing how. You know, the fans have really, really um, got involved with Power Rangers, and it's in their heart. So the fans are in my heart also. That's very cool, man. Very beautiful. Now, uh, my man, we checked out your Instagram account. And, dude, you are in incredible <laughs> shape. So, uh, Roger, I got to know, what is your regimen, dude? I mean, that, like, seriously, man, you look like you, are you, you're working out, like, right now. You must be lifting something right now. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just I'm standing around, bouncing around. I'm at, my next appointment is my gym workout. So, you know, I just I, I, I fast in the morning. I have nothing, only, you know, water or, or coffee. If I have to have a, something solid, I have a protein shake or, or green juice. And about 1 o'clock, I break my fast, and that's when I have my first meal, typically loaded with protein. So I like tons of eggs, maybe, you know, a chicken sausage or bacon's okay. And no tortillas, no bread, very limited on bread, although I did have avocado toast today. And then after that, I just, you know, go hit the gym. Of course, fruit and whatnot. I don't eat fruit or any sugars past 3 p.m. I Sugars out of my – I don't put sugar on my food. Um, stay away from the soda. Those are the game killers. Uh, and just work out, eat healthy. You know, most importantly, it's a lifestyle. I know people say, oh, my God, it's a lifestyle. Eventually, you'll get used to it, and you don't want to go back. You know, once you have momentum, I feel like right now I have momentum. And, yeah, I love fried chicken. Yeah, I love me a good burger, which, by the way, I'm going to go have it anyway. <laughs> you got to have a cheat day someday, <laughs> you baby. You got to have it. You know what I mean? You got to have it. But, but the thing is, it's, 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 as long as 80% of the time you're eating clean, once in a while you can have a burger and a pizza like I'm about to this weekend. There you go. <laughs> for, for real, fam, look, look up Roger on, uh, on the Insta. D- dude's doing fine with his, di- with his uh, plan here. He's doing just fine. Well, Roger, we are looking forward to hanging with you and everybody else. Capital City Comic Con, that is coming up June 30th, July 2nd at the uh, Lansing Center in downtown Lansing. All the best to you, man, and we'll see you in a few weeks. By the way, really quick, the reason why we do what we do, is, for example, one of the things of uh, being in shape is we stay ready. You never know when the phone might ring, and then I say, hey, we need you suited and booted. Let's go. You're up. You know? <laughs> Hell yeah. There you go. So, Man's ready. Still ready to save the galaxy, baby. <laughs> always. Absolutely. Oh, we, I can't wait to see you guys all at uh, Capital City Comic Con. Go get your tickets. Bring your friends. It's going to be awesome. Q106, thank you guys very much for everything. You got it, my dude. Be well, man. Take care. Bye-bye. Michigan's Rock Station, Q106.